After Cruzem is installed, you will have AST Launcher icon on the desktop. If you double click on the icon, this is the dialog you will see and you can open Cruzem like that. It will take some time for Cruzem to pop up and initially you will be located under the project tab from where you can open examples or create new ones. Let's see how this looks like. In the project tab, you basically have possibility to save models, to open models from either installation examples or anywhere on your hard disk drive. Whenever you have mo model available, you can save it uh, on desired position. Under info, there are some general information about the project. Currently nothing is there because I have a blank uh, project. Under recent, there are the most recent projects that you have been working with, so you can also open it from here. And under new, you can add or you can insert new Cruze models. You will also notice that there are several other products available here because they are based on the same GUI environment. Under preferences, you can set up the settings of this GUI environment and under help, you can basically access to our support or Cruzem manual. If I go to new and insert uh, new Cruzem model, you will basically see that the project tab is not the only one. We also have a home, simulations, results, optimization and parameters tab. And each of the tab is meant for different purpose. Under home tab, it is meant that we are using it in order to create models. In this home tab, we have several panes. Those panes are positioned uh, by default. User can change the position arbitrary. So the position of the pane can be arbitrary changed according to our needs. The best setup that I basically choose whenever working with Cruzem is that I merged elements and properties pane clicking on this button. So now they are mer merged and you will basically see later what effects does it have. Whenever you set up the layout differently than it is default, it is automatically set up as a custom. You can rename to uh, desired name, I will say AVL, press enter, and in the drop down menu you have basically different um, modeling view uh, options. The default is basically a default configuration, default visualization that we can use, and under AVL my preferred one. So you can have a lot of variations of these modeling views and then based on your need decides, uh, decide which one you will basically use. In the components pane you basically have the whole component library window for which you can have license to. For the engine modeling the important ones are the one with the uh, light blue section. Under engine we have Mobeo cylinders, these are the semi-empirical combustion models, or you can also use cylinder block. This, this is crank angle resolved cylinder, which also consists of detailed information about the intake and exhaust port, cylinder and combustion chamber. Under charging there is a turbocharger, which is map based. Under volumes we have several options, but for the engine modeling the most important one is a plenum. Let's skip the after treatment system. For the engine modeling, it is usually not important. We are modeling after treatment pressure drop and heat losses also with gas flow components. The most important one is basically restriction, and this is also the one that is the mostly used in the engine models. On the boundaries, we are specifying system boundary, that means we can decide the boundary condition of the pressure, temperature, humidity and also the gas composition. With the engine modeling we will also usually use some general, gener general rotational mechanics. Flange as a boundary condition for mechanical system or shaft where you can also define initial speed and inertia. Base control and data is used to manipulate the model behavior. We have maps, PID controllers, constants monitors and 
one of the most important one is a function which is based in the C code. So you can basically model whatever you like.